Hello again to another episode, my name is Karina Belmonte and today we're going to focus on how can you create mini vlogs that you have been seeing on Instagram Reels, what are the benefits and what are some editing tips that I wanted to share with you. So let's begin with the, the benefits of creating mini vlogs on Instagram Reels is that it's an opportunity for you to share what you love and who you are with your audience. It's a different way to share your personal brand and to connect with your personal brand in a different way. Another benefit is you can get creative as possible because you can share a trip, you can share behind the scenes of your business, you can share what you love, how you talk to your clients, what do you do as a masterclass, what is that you do as an entrepreneur, as a coach, as a cook, as a video producer, whatever it is that you are as a creator, it's an opportunity to share a different perspective of your life and of who you are. And finally, of course, it's an opportunity to share your story as however you want to. Okay, now what are some editing tips that I want to share with you that are gonna help you create better mini blogs or start creating mini blogs? First thing is think about five to six things that you want to share through your mini blog on Instagram Reels. Think about them, write them down, whatever they are, write them down. Then another benefit and another benefit to editing to editing mini vlogs is Focus on what is the audio that you want to use so you can understand the beats, so you can understand what is the pace and also investigate other mini vlogs that are being created at this moment by other people. It's gonna give you inspiration and it's also going to help you to understand how can you share your story. Don't copy, get inspired, okay? Also focus on which is the audio that you want to use. Personally, I love using original audios when it comes to mini vlogs because when I investigate, I see that they, this, these are the audios that are most being used by creators. So right over here, you can see different ways to create mini vlogs and you can see everyone does different styles. So it all depends on you. And the final editing tip that I want to share with you is when you're going to already have the audio ready, you have the tips or the things that you want to share through your mini vlogs, now focus on the AIDA method, attention, interest, desire, and action. It's gonna help you to make your mini vlogs in a smoother way, and if you're starting editing, it's gonna help you so much. So what is AIDA? It's attention. Hook them with the first thing you want them to see, or who they are, what is it you do, where are you are at this moment, that interest. To give them a reason to be interested in keeping watching your mini vlog. Then what is the desire that they are feeling at that moment by watching your mini vlog on Instagram Reels? And finally, help them to take action if it is looking into more of your content, taking a trip, cooking something because you you saw you or you saw or you shared what you love about cooking, anything. So focus on what is the action you want them to take at the end of your mini vlog through Instagram Reels. This way you're going to have better perception of how to edit and a better connection with the editing of your Instagram Reels. And a final bonus tip is have fun, have fun. Use this opportunity to introduce your personal brand in a different way, to share a different perspective, to, to reintroduce who you are and what you love, but have fun doing it. Okay, these are the suggestions that I gave you to start creating mini vlogs. As you can see, I also applied it to my content because I love the way that they look and how you can introduce yourself in a different way. So remember that, hope this video was good for you and it benefited you to start creating mini vlogs. Let me know what else you want to do and to share and to know. And in the next video, I'm going to go even more technical with how you can create mini vlogs in an editing, in an editing friendly way. Okay, see you next week, bye.